Hi, Mr. Omer here to help you with your chromatic scale. Guys, you're a percussionist. This is like the easiest thing in the world as far as how to play it. You don't have to worry about fingerings or anything. All you got to know is where to start. As long as you know to start here, here's the rule. Play every bar in order. Yay. Now, I'm not a huge mallet technique guy, but my understanding is uh, it's great to learn how to alternate hands in case you want to do this fast. There's a little bit of crossing that goes on here, so this is worth it to spend some time on to go faster. So let's just talk really briefly about actually reading it off of the page if you're going to read it. All right. So if I come up here and point to where we are, this is, it's written uh, with sharps on the way up, flats on the way down. So that first note is what? Well, remember if this thing looks like the letter G, it wraps around a line. That G is right there. Okay. So I'm going to go up a half step from the G, I'm sorry, up a step uh, from the line to the space. Here's A, but it's sharped. It's an A sharp. That's what the little hashtag is. It's not hashtag. Hashtags are actually slanted this way and straight this way. This one is straight this way, slanted this way. It's a sharp. It means go up a half step. So the names of the notes on the page are first measure, A sharp, B, C, C sharp. That's your first measure. Here's your next measure. D, D sharp, E, F. All right, next measure is F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And then just so we can get used to saying the names of everything, we're going to switch the flats on the way back down. And the next measure is B flat, A, A flat, G. Measure 28 here is going to be G flat, F, E, E flat. Next measure right here is starting with D, D, D flat, C, B. And then the last measure is your B flat. Now, you really do want to get used to reading these. It's worth doing in multiple octaves. This is where a lot of stuff lives, but you could just as easily be asked to play here. And if you were down there, you'd have to learn to uh, read the ledger notes down low. Um, the more you get this down, the easier it is to read all of your music ever. So, chromatic scale. There you go.